Question I always get is, Gabe, what is a good tip to be successful? I really don't know why I get asked this question. It's not like I'm like that crazy successful, which is also a very good trait if you want to be successful. I always see successful people never being satisfied with what they have. They're always trying to be better and chase the next big thing or the next big goal. You never want to get comfortable. Also, it seems really simple, but you want to surround yourself with people that also have goals. You don't want to be around people that sit around and do nothing all day. If you are chasing a goal, it's very easy to accomplish those goals if you have one or two friends. They don't even have to have a like-minded goal, but they will be pushing you to accomplish your goals. They'll always be on you. In my case, that's Brian, Abby even. I'm very lucky to have a very good family that pushes me to accomplish my goals, always supporting me in every way, even if it's all the way across the country. I'm constantly on the phone with my grandpa telling him what my next plan is or my next big goal, and he's always keeping me accountable for those goals. And also, it's okay to have a little competition. It's okay to surround yourself with people that are doing way better than you. For example, I'm friends with my good buddy CJ on 32s. You guys may think that my little collection of vehicles is crazy and outlandish, but there's always somebody that has way more and way more success than you. CJ has like freaking 20 cars. Like he makes my little collection look like nothing. I use his success as motivation for myself because if he can do it, I can do it. Just like if I could do it, you could do it. My little tip for the day, surround yourself with good people, like-minded people and um, chase your dreams. Speaking of friends, I have a buddy coming up today all the way from Indiana you may know him Jackson is the son of Cole Motors the famous Cole Motors that uh, they are working on Abby's first gen and my big blue crew cab second gen right now Jackson is leaving for the military next week he has never came and visit the house that I have I haven't seen him in a while every time I go to like drop off a vehicle or something he's not there here he hasn't been there the past couple times so I haven't really hung out with him in a while he said he had a couple days to spare I said come down stay the night take a look at the house we got a couple things to do today I'm gonna take him out to dinner and stuff and um enjoy time together before he goes to off to the military and I'll see him for a couple months. He is also bringing something very cool. He's either 18 or 19 and this kid always has like the nicest stuff. Like I've never met a young kid like him having new vehicles as much as he does. Always has a new car or truck to show me. Even when I first met him, he had third gens, fourth gens. He's building a, a drag racing first gen with a common rail swap. Always has cool stuff. Finally, and I think I rubbed off of him a little bit on this, he picked up a fifth gen coming. Very similar to Abby's fifth gen Cummins. Whenever I had my 5G, the G56 swap truck, and every time I came over, I was always bringing that truck. Whenever we went out to eat or anything, that was the truck that he always picked to uh, take out for rides. Because if you guys know me, I love passing my vehicles off to my friends take on joy rides all the time. But I remember he always wanted to drive the fifth gen. So I'm pretty sure it's been a goal of his for a long time to buy a fifth gen. And he finally bought one. He's bringing that up the driveway right now. We gotta go run a couple errands. I got a call from the dealership. My limited is finished. They did an oil change, fuel filters, and they fixed an, a small fuel leak. They got it all fixed up. So I gotta go run up to Nashville to pick that up from the dealership. I was driving my Chevy to Wisconsin. If you guys missed the last video, we took my 1200 horsepower fourth gen mega cab up to my buddy anchors he is painting it i use the chevy to haul my grandpa's gooseneck and i noticed at the gas station last night i don't know if you guys can tell on camera that tire looks a little sideways like this and if you rub your hand across the tire right here it seems like it's starting to wear a little bit weird now these chevys have independent front suspension i'm not too much of an expert on them i've only had a couple chevy gmc trucks and this is the biggest one by far i have heard that these are really finicky if you don't have these trucks aligned perfectly they can cause really bad wear on the tires so i'm going to take it over to brian's motorsports where my single cab fourth gen is right now he said he could get it aligned for me because i would really like to take this truck on the trip to texas this weekend because i mean it is the tow rig and we're picking up something in texas that i kind of need a tow rig to pick up when i get it aligned make sure it's all perfect i really do not want a wheel falling off of this truck and i don't want that tire to wear bad you can barely feel it in the steering wheel it's got a little bit of a shake so we're gonna take it over to brian so he's gonna get it all straight maybe we'll give you guys an update on the single cab fourth gen a couple of you guys have been asking about it in the comment section jackson should be pulling up the driveway right now actually i think i hear him jackson pulling up the driveway and he said is your driveway stone and i said ah it's got some stone it's got some mud it's got a small lake because there's a puddle of rain last night hopefully he's not too mad sheesh crew cab 5g wow what the hell is this you shitter <laughs> i don't know where to park and not look poor it, what do you mean you're making me look poor what are you right about? i don't even have a 5g <laughs> damn forces i didn't even know it was deleted in tune and then i was like why can i hear him <laughs> yeah damn oh i like that tip i got one of these i haven't thrown it on any of my trucks yeah, i just yet. put it on like what wheels are those? 22s? 24s? 22 by 4? They look wide as fuck. 
Oh, of course. Why? Why wouldn't it be? Damn. I'm lucky Brian's not here. He's gonna be really jealous. Is he coming? Yeah, he should be here soon. He's getting his truck tinted right now. Oh, I seen that on the store. Damn. I dig it. We got a big screen in there. Or this little screen. Little screen. Little screen. It's so badass. You're coming up in the world. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Revving his truck. Damn. It smokes a little bit. Damn. <laughs> It sounds so good. What the fuck? I like the rock lights too. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm a proud father right now. You want to hear Abby's truck? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got to show you underneath the hood first. Have you seen the videos of it? I really like YouTube for. No, 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 no. It's pretty cool though. I like awesome. it. I like the pink. I love that color. <laughs> then we got our pile of garbage K5 over there. She I, likes that one. I do a startup on that one, but it, it refuses to start like 90% of the time. But it looks pretty. Please. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> It does. A lot like your white truck. Damn. Oh, well, it's dead now. Whatever. I wish my fucking fast one was here. You would have loved that. It's oh, getting okay. painted. Yeah. yeah. It looks like he likes it. <laughs> All right. Taking the Chevy. Gonna go ahead to the Ford dealership and pick out the Limited. Oh my god. That's a pavement princess, right? I didn't, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the car wash. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you like insanely lifted trucks? Do you like fast diesel trucks? L5P Duramaxes? Of course you do, or you wouldn't be watching this YouTube video. You guys only have a week left to get our twin chili, my 2017 GMC 2500 Denali. It's got a big turbo L5P Duramax with a built six-speed Allison transmission. It's leveled on 26 by 14 JTX forged wheel drive and 33 inch Venom tires. Inside, it's got tan Denali leather interior with 2,500 stars. It's got 30 rock lights, traction bars, color match, and so much more. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And for the next 24 hours, take advantage of our times two entry multiplier. That's the last entry multiplier of the entire giveaway to take advantage of that sale and get out today and who knows on january 19th i might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video yeah i actually like kind of forget i own this most of the time there you go <laughs> Damn. All right, let's go get dinner. I forgot how much I like this thing. Do you like it? That's badass. <laughs> Yesterday. Had a little bit too much fun last night. We went shopping and we went out to dinner. So I ended up not being able to bring the Chevy over to Brian's Motorsports. So we're gonna head over there and do that today. Yesterday I picked up the limited F250. Frosty here. This is my 2018 limited F250. It is freaking sick. Forgot how much I love driving this truck. Rides so nice with 
the 12 inch coilover elevate lift same pretty on these 28s and 38s freaking mint this is quite possibly like one of my favorite trucks that we have right now it's been over at the dealership they did oil change fuel filters it had a small fuel leak they got that fixed up it was simple this is like some stupid gasket on the motor that was just pouring out fuel uh, every time you drove it but got that 100 percent fixed now so this truck is pretty decent we got a bunch of mods coming for this whole truck front clip cow hood uh we're gonna do a little bit more paint match tail lights and today we'll be installing something later when we get back elevate set me out a new face plate so i'm gonna get rid of this rider diesel thing and then it'll say gabe Ferrell productions love this truck really excited to see that truck finish now the chevy it needs an alignment and i have to drive this truck to texas at the end of the week i really do not want to be driving it 20 plus hours with a bad alignment i don't want the the tires are starting to wear a little bit weird called brian's motorsports they said drop it off they'll have it done either at the end of the day or tomorrow and then we'll be good to take it on our trip this weekend we're gonna be dropping this off so obviously we need to take one of the vehicles to brian's motorsports with us what should we let brian drive probably take the l5p his truck's not here right now it's down the road at tint on wheels getting tinted he's already got started modding this truck he did brand new tint on the sides they're finishing up the windshield today he's got rock lights coming he already has a starlight headliner in the works my garage is cluttered with all of his stuff but he's got a 1200 piece starlight headliner kit i will not have any part in helping that because i can't stand doing starlight headliner it's too tedious that's why we have nick from self love retros to do all my starlight headliners but i know he's got 26s coming as soon as hides finished we're gonna take off all of the front end parts we'll have out for our headlights whole bunch of stuff so stay tuned everybody said keep you guys updated on brian's build and i will be sure to do so that truck's gonna be really cool when it's done i'm excited to eventually have hide back here in the driveway as soon as it's done at Diego's getting a brand new lift kit. Pretty excited about the color combination that we're doing on that truck. And we already have plans to eventually be lifting Brian's fourth gen to match hide. And then we're gonna do the same color scheme. At the end of the day, we'll have two big ass fourth gen, black fourth gen dualies that match. Me and Brian are gonna have to stock up on some neck braces to hand out while we're driving all the trucks because of all the necks that we're gonna break. can't be that big turbo l5p noise it's got me thinking should i should i not do an s400 on this truck to do an s472 on that truck i think it'd be a little bit too much turbo how heavy we're gonna be towing with this truck this year but it sounds so nice maybe i'll just need another l5p oh no look at that poor thing uh, well, we have arrived at Brian's once again. So if you guys don't know, this is my 4chan single cab. Uh, we dropped it off here to get some paint match done on the bed and put a dually bed on. Eventually. Duallys are superior to everything. Yeah, dually fought the world. They're here doing the paint match. They had to order all brand new parts to do the bed. Uh, so it's got new fender liners, all the plastic piece on the bottom, the bed rails, everything. Day Tech is sending out the wheels for this. I already got the tires still. Someday soon, hopefully within the next two weeks, this truck will be 100% done and we'll be ready to pick it up. I can't wait. I'm pretty excited. I miss this thing. I miss driving this thing. Jackson, you've never even seen this f***ing truck. It's got Laramie Longhorn interior and dash and everything. It's f***ing beautiful. Straight baller. We got a couple cool cars in here. I don't know where the... Is the square body still back there? Yeah, that's what I'm moving over today. You're moving that over there? When it's done, I can have it, right? No, you can mm -hmm. ride. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think caught my eye? Yeah. <laughs> not a Gen 1, not like mine. He's got actual right. money. Yeah. I don't know. There's yeah. too many R8s around here. They look good. They, they do. The body sounds like really good. We either th get this or a Huracan or a GTR. GTR. GTR? Hell yeah. What do you think? You like this? Pretty smooth. I don't know. I like this generation, but I like the Gen 1 way more. You don't see them as often. Some reason the truck it looks smaller. Yeah, it needs to be lower. I like them wheels though. Those are baller. So we were talking about all of the vehicles that he has, and he says, yeah, he lost money on uh, this Urus that he bought for his wife, so making his wife drive this big ass lifted van. This thing's actually baller as Bro, that for a roller van would be tough. Bro, we need that. Yeah, that thing is pimp. <laughs> Blacked out. <laughs> Bro, I love your van. I had a Lamborghini before that. I know. I'm like, I looked at Bill like, oh, daddy's just trying to humble us, baby. We're in the <laughs> yeah. van right now. I love it. Let me know when you want to get rid of it. I'll take it. Okay, thank you. Later. <laughs> First mod going down on the Limited. I love the truck to death. Barely anything I want to change about it. I got a 2022 front end for it. Color match. Thanks to our guys over at Retro Customs. Those are sending out. Hopefully sometime next week. Headlights, taillights. I got a big ass cow hood because everybody loved the cow hood that we did on Silver Bullet. So we had to get a cow hood. That's all on the way. And Elevate, the people that built that lift kit, sent me out some new overlays. Oh, we should also take off these too. I, I'm not Ryder Diesel, so I should probably take them off no, also i'm pretty beat yeah they're they're pretty worn down oh hell yeah blue all over them we just washed it so they're like oddly Wet. damp yeah. so it's kind of like 
really weird. All right, well, I guess I'll finish that off camera because it's probably gonna take until two o'clock in the morning to peel those all off, but I'm gonna peel those off. Got the old zipper zipper. All you have to do is just not lose these bolts. <laughs> Because if you're using one bolt, man, everybody would just Cry scream about at you. Oh, Cardi B. When I first finished that, the big LP fab lift kit that, it, that is currently still on it, we're getting the truck ready for Orange Beach Truck Invasion. This is like two or three years ago. We were literally putting the truck together on the trailer. Like we were still putting overlays on it and dialing in a couple things right before we left, all the way up until right before we left. And I ordered, these are stainless overlay bolts. As you can see, they're stainless. I ordered them because they didn't have them in stock. I had two options. I could either go to the show with black ones because we could get black painted ones and then put the stainless overlay bolts in as soon as we got back from Orange Beach or run no overlays. So I picked to put these black painted ones. For some reason, the air in, where's Orange Beach? Alabama. The air in Alabama is like salty or something. I really don't know. These rusted before we got to Orange Beach. Like I swear to God, we literally just had like a, it was like a 16 hour drive. And by the time I got there, these were all rusted and they looked like garbage. So yeah. I had these nice, beautiful overlays and then there was like rust dripping off of the bolts onto the overlays and everyone flamed the f out of me for having rusty overlay bolts on my brand new lift kit. <laughs> And I was trying to explain to everybody, I was like, I'm not poor, I could afford over, actually I bought overlay bolts and I bought the black ones. Like I just wanted to go to the show with overlays and everybody gave me so much shit. This, uh, this dude, big name in the industry, came over to look at my truck. While we were walking over to look at my truck, he offered me a job to work for him. I suck at social media. Can you be like my social media person for my company? And I'm like, buddy, I run a YouTube channel. I, I, I can't like, I'm trying to make it here. <laughs> I can't be working for somebody else. I, I already do everything by myself. And then he took offense to me saying uh, that I didn't want to work for him. So he walked over there and recorded all my overlay bolts and put it all on social media. And he had like a bunch of followers at the time. And everyone put me on blast all over social media. I still remember that, guys. I remember all of you freaking hating on my overlay bolts. But yeah, well, look at me now. So those ones said freaking rider diesel these beautiful ones have gfp all over them shout out to all of it because we literally ordered these on the way home when we picked up this truck and uh, that was a couple weeks ago and they already sent out freaking overlays we like efficiency if you're a company and you want to impress us do everything very quickly and i will probably work with you forever and do it right the first time yeah do it right the first time so i don't gotta come back and like blame you. <laughs> like our paint guy andrew anchor drops off the truck 24 hours later i barely just got home and he sent me a picture of the truck like completely torn apart that man's gonna get a truck every single time i pick up a truck i'm gonna drop off a truck when i pick up that one have him paint it i don't even like need any trucks painted but i'm gonna i'm gonna get them all painted just because i like them i think that's a like a good tip for any business owner yeah if you want like promoters like whether it be social media people or whatever people to help you get your name out if you just take care of the people that are helping you like you will get up there get your name quick. out you, you can become very successful very quickly like we'll, we'll take we'll take some trucks to like a shop that the whole internet knows that the vehicle is at their shop and then they'll take their jolly ass time or then they'll mess something up and then you don't think i'm gonna talk about it on the internet flaming y'all <laughs> I'm, I'm very honest i give a fuck about the business owner's opinions i'm not gonna lie to my fan base to get a discount yeah. i will pay full price just so then i can tell people my honest opinion if i drove down the road in a lift kit rode like absolute garbage and i wouldn't drive the truck i'm not gonna tell everybody that this is a cool lift kit even if it was free that's why i don't really be taken everybody thinks i get sponsored for like all my stuff one they think my dad buys everything but the people that don't think my dad <laughs> buys everything think that i get like insane discounts on everything or, or elevate just gonna give me a free lift kit i mean i'll, I'll take one if you want to give me one elevate i will <laughs> i will take a free one no but we're out here self-made literally paying for everything by ourselves no help from basically no one i'll get discounts here and there for like companies that i rep all the time but there's very few of them and i don't really consider it a discount because i i rep the shit out of them and i usually make them a very bigger company just but, wait till the shop is done and uh a lot of stuff coming in yeah like we're gonna have like you think i'm, I'm posting a lot now wait till there's like three videos videos a day a video per day yeah 12 projects going on at one time i like update videos like everybody always asks in the comments yeah update update what's good with what's going on with this truck what's going on with this truck what's going on with this truck and it's like across the country so <laughs> i literally can't even do anything about it you know like when you buy a new iphone yeah. i wouldn't know i've had the same iphone for like three years but i i think when you buy a new iphone you get to uh peel off the plastic like this it's supposed to be satisfying damn it's gonna make all the rest of the overlays look like shit we're getting them clean this week so yeah, we need to go get a big bottle of windex and just start wiping it's only a good thing about stainless compared to chrome you can actually wipe it off or polish i should say if this was polish overlays so you'd have to literally polish every inch of it to make it nice this is stainless like the front of a fridge stainless is slightly bit more expensive than polished but i will take not having to polish my overlays Whoop. it's gone no way <laughs> can you tell whose truck this is no they should have said fade Garrel productions yeah. come on elevate no i'm just kidding thank you those look great
I like it a lot. Jeez. It was really good. It's just the little details. It's my truck now. It hasn't been my truck for like three weeks because it didn't have my name on it, but now it's my name on it. Oh, we need a GFP sticker on the back too. By the way, it doesn't mean that he built it. He's not saying that. No, I He's did, I saying... built it. I built it. I, I stayed on my hands and knees for three whole months, putting every single piece on. I powder coated everything myself. These wheels, not Liberty Forges. They're not Liberty Forges at all. They're actually Gabe Farrell Forges. I have a wheel cutter up there uh, yeah, in that room second, right there. Second floor. That room right there, I have a, my old wheel cutter. I cut the whole lift out with a sawzall. Just took a piece of the metal. And I didn't order the metal. I actually took the metal. I have a metal farm in that field right there yeah i actually i own ford so the cab i manufactured myself the frame all me so everybody always says built not bought but did you manufacture your truck because i did got both sides of the overlays on that's this side looks freaking sick we only stripped three bolts and almost lost two fingers but not too shabby yeah you could really see it from this side gave for production that's fucking sick now when i pull up to your mom's house she'll know who daddy is she should have known anyway. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't tell from the overlays. We got the sticker in the back now, too. You can actually tell us my truck. That was for the wrong freaking color again. Call Andrew. We got to paint it black. You don't know how you feel about the monitor. Yeah, it's like zoomed in. You pay all this money for the stuff, you don't even like it. Little monitor. <laughs>